on a few other tips for making that great tasting steak on the grill. Uh, you might want to start, first of all, making sure your steak is thick enough. And so we recommend a minimum of three quarters of an inch to an inch thick for steaks because that really retains the juiciness and the moisture because that's really what we want in a steak. You want to keep your fire, your grill at medium. We don't want to burn or char the surface of the steak. We want to keep them really um, nice and uh, cook kind of slowly on medium heat. Always, always, always use tongs to turn those steak. Don't take a fork and pierce them because as you see those juices come out, there you lose that wonderful great juices. Um, how do you determine the degree of doneness in a steak? First of all, we recommend for quality to use a meat thermometer. And an instant read meat thermometer is a great tool to make your steak the right doneness. Um, we go by USDA guidelines for doneness, and so their recommendations for medium rare are 145 degrees. If I have a nice thick steak like this and I want it to be 145 degrees inside, then what I have to do is take it out about 135, 138, um, may, just a few degrees early, and then I need to let it rest, uh, maybe three, or five, three to five minutes, even 10 minutes in a warm place, and that will make the, the steak be more evenly cooked. So lots of great things on the grill. You want to and season it maybe. Um, you can season it with whatever, a rub or salt and pepper. Some people like to season with salt after they grill it because they think, oh, the salt draws out moisture. But uh, it's really, in my opinion, it's a personal choice. So make your own seasoning or you can do a marinade. Um, lots of fun things to add, just a little bit of flavor to that great tasting steak.